Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you just reload this into the map now, uh, we supposed to have a new task available to us. But on the other hand, I want to go there. Come on. Enemies nearby. Is that why I can't sleep at night? Alright, can we fast travel now? There's another dog over there. Can we fast travel now? I have no enemy markers. So to be fair, this facility is really close by anyway. And I think it's gonna rain outside. Somebody's had time to respawn already. No, I'm not entirely certain why I wanted to come back here. Because I don't know if the stereotype glove was actually worth the trip. And I certainly didn't want the mine. I can't sleep right now because of the Mr. Order in the next room. This is just a clipboard. Clipboards, clipboards, clipboards. And some bottle caps. Wait, where did you guys come from? You know, I do think again that uh, the whole preservation of ammo point still remains yeah. though so does the preservation of steam packs wait no I have like 180 preservation of steam packs is not an issue come on fall over and die please there is one additional enemy two additional enemies and they have run off upstairs apparently. And the perception score is really low. I'm just having Yidi around. Oh! Why are you two working together against me? Too far away, come on. Here we go. Like that was un completely unnecessary. But I'm still surprised that the bots are not programmed to fight off the lobotomites. What did the lobotomites ever do to them? Okay, actually can understand that the they, they would still fight against me because I did literally clear out this place a while ago. So they would have reason not to trust me at least. Oh, there's a case is here. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take the axe. I have no idea when uh, the sink will have money again, but still. I like myself some axes. Hmm. Alright. I forgot about that factor. I heard the noise. I knew it was gonna happen. Now we even hear the noise inside the place. So yeah. That's a metal spoon. How adorable. Have a nap. Wait, we need a longer nap than that. Five hours? I can still hear the rain. I might, would very much like to see clearly now that the rain is gone. And it's gonna be a bright, 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 sunshiny day. Come on. Nope. And there are enemies here, right? Is increasing geometrically. Oh, it's PM, not okay, yeah, okay. AM. Okay. That explains the whole darkness thing. Hello, morning, my old friend. 
They were much nicer to be around than nighttime. Can we travel? Somewhere uh, useful? That's a bit far away. I haven't actually been there yet. But that's like spell. That's surprisingly close by to everything, really. Like, why, couldn't, why wouldn't we go there instead, you know? Can I? Yeah, I can repair my armor a little bit. A patient gown. Maybe even two. Alright, well, what else do we get? Let's look at our quest. That's a fair bit of... Huh. So apparently... X8 and... X13... Well, we need to go to X13 anyway now. So let's head to the think tank. Oh, the think tank, the think tank will do. I cannot do that because there's these two down here. These three down here. You could run. Two explodes. No? Okay. Okay. Ah, the sneeze! Happens to the best of us! It does! Ugh. It is not a wonderful experience. Uh, I still cannot fast travel. Because there are still enemies nearby. Hello, are you stopping me from fast traveling, sir? I would like you to stop. You too. Thank you. Can I head back to the facility now? On the other hand, at this point we may as well walk. Ah. Wait, what? Irradiated barrel cactus and irradiated water. Nice. I didn't realize the game actually had that as an option as well. For item types. Alright, so there's some decent radiation going on here. I should probably not just wander in. You could have a dip in the green goo. Yeah, a skinny dip in the green goo. Sounds even better. There's some night crawlers, and we are at the think tank facility, so we might as well just proceed on from here. Let's talk this even. Don't you show me your anus? I don't want to see your anus, you night stalker thing. That's extremely stalkerish behavior. Just showing. Running up to me and showing your anus. And actually, that's probably not stalkerish, that's just creepy. I'll just set this on repeat while I go. Relieve my no. Unless, of course, you know the thingy. What was it planning to say? Uh, unless, of course, uh, there's a lot of time put into figuring out when to go and show people their anus. In that case, that's the starfish behavior. Okay, what's this? Request for assistance. Oh, so this is where the things are? Yeah, okay, so there's a... An additional cyber dog gun here. I can shots. I think they're pointed at me. Oh, they are pointed at me. Should I pose her? Yes. Wait, that's armor piercing ammo. Sorry. Point two to three. I have no idea what it is. So. Stop picking up your gun. I'm, throwing it, I'm shooting it out of your hand for a reason.
Oh, there are rattle bones. You know, they're spending a fair bit of time outnumbering me here. Can I catch up to you? Yes, you can. Thanks to the wonders of bots. Hello. Okay, can't catch up to him, I don't think. Okay, then. Come on. Let's do this. So that's... A lot of K9000s. Down here, unless it just kept switching owners repeatedly. Like, my understanding was they had one K9000 here, not four. Though I am not entirely sure they had more than one. Every one of them seemed to have access to ammo there for it. You had some human flesh on you. Oh, you had a ri laser rifle. That's interesting. You had a laser pistol. Did you loot the top dog? That sounds only a fair bit, you know. Whoops. Oh, this one also had a laser rifle. At first. Okay, so they all must have just updated things. That's an actual fresh. A wow, what? How is that apple fresh? Where did you get a fresh apple from? Do they have a farm? Oh, Tink Clap had a farm. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Is that what's going on? They should be the old. Think that in that case, because otherwise this number of syllables won't just match. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, can I gonna uh, look into this store because this store just seems to be completely unexplored thanks to the fact that. Wait. Thanks to the fact that this is a circle around the place. Is there any other reason to be inside here? We got the dog. There's some fresh apples. There's multiple fresh apples in a place that no one's been alive in for hundreds of years. I'm sure. Unless no one was in the big empty for a while. It's a really deceptive name, isn't it? Guess it used to stand for Big Mountain, but well, there's no mountain here now. Who dares? Do you dare? Are you the one who dares? Because I don't appreciate you daring, sir. In fact, I may ask you, how dare you? Same goes for you, Night Stalker. And you, Night Stalker. Sorry, I need to use this so I can heal up before you kill me. Yeah, you better... Parkour! You better hardcore parkour. We really need more sniper ammo. That's basically the bane of my existence in this thing. It's just like never enough. Never. For a moment I thought we could get enough, but then we just started finding ammo for the Bozar and the K9000 instead. But look at it, this gun has over a thousand bullets available for it. What does CFP stand for? No idea. This is 
you. Probably. What's your weapon, sir? It looked really impressive. I'm kind of curious as to what it is. It's a course rifle. Of course it is. Ah, another level. These levels are just coming out of nowhere by now. Just popping in like no one's business. Alright, well. Wait, how did these two get... Oh, right, because I upgraded my thingy. Huh, well, um... That's gonna be... A challenge to balance. Is this the place we were looking for, or is this just somewhere we are? It used to be just somewhere we are. That looks like goo in there. Ah, uh, innovative toxins plant. Okay, no, never mind then, I'm not going in there. That sounds like a silly idea. Alright dog, you gotta be a trusty friend for this one. Ah, so you s are, you're saying there's more challenges around? Like the stuffer bag? Like how can I resist not losing it? Oh, because it's a box of detergent. That's how I'm gonna resist losing it. Ha! Ah. You've been mauled by a puppy. This is like the silliest area. All of their areas are so closely bound together here. Like it's no one's business. Alright, well. You stay down there, I'll shoot you. Plan set. Cool. Where did the last one go? He ran off. Like a massive coward. I'm still really conflicted about the fact that the best way, in fact, the best way to get the level 50 perk is by being evil. But I'm still good. I have no idea why I'm good at this time. I'm usually just neutral, you know? Even my title says all around, all around neutral guy. Not all around neutral good guy because I'm not a good guy. I'm not. Like, I'm decent at most. Come on. What do we have? Ammo. I'll take it. Like, maybe if I blew up the entirety of the strip If a fat man, that could work. The only problem with that plan is the fact that I don't really feel like doing that. Plus it would still anger the NCR. Maybe if I just spawned in a ton of random people who are not NCR? Hmm. Everything is under control down here. If I need your assistance, I'll let you know. Paris will be along shortly to retrieve the shipment. shipment. You have successfully created a capacitance module capable of emitting a focused electromagnetic pulse from a sonic emitter. While the physical impact is rather weak, Jenkins fired the weapon at the force field and it fried the field's emitter array. Upon further study, we found the gun only affects a small range of frequencies. Unfortunately, the frequency of our force fields fall within this range. The gun was sent to X8 for further study. As well as... Weird... Experiment things. Hello, what lies beyond this door? Is it science? You see, I'm looking for science. There is a mad uh, robot on the loose who wants to capture all science for himself. So, some of the science I must gather myself, you know? So, someone was in here betting money on a chess game.
I guess that's cool. I'm just whatever makes them happy, I guess. Or less spoiled. We've successfully created the capacity. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. I've been working with Morgan on fitting the gloves to the torso and come up with a few improvements which should greatly enhance the user's manual dexterity. I adapted Redding's new rubberized stampering compound and applied it to the palms and other high wear surfaces. Once the suit adjusts to the user, the benefits of these upgrades should be obvious. There's some damage both types here. Huh. Alright. Are those fist fighting weapons? Probably are. I wanna look at them anyway. Wait, no. Are they barrel then? No, no, of course not. Are they currently in misc then? Oh, yes, yes they are. Boo. Uh, can we get the boots as well then? Ah, so I guess it's gonna be a full outfit. Huh. Wait. I may res remember, but I think I somehow got an achievement for making up my mind about well, something about my brain, my spine. Anyway, I don't think I've made any decisions about my spine yet. Okay, let's take the chest plate as well. Ah! What does that look like? Oh, is it the stealth suit marked to that too? It's not as protective as Joshua, Joshua Graham's armor and it's medium armor. So I think not. Okay, I'm gonna check out there if it looks cool. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Who can I hide you from today? It looks cool. Stimpak reserves adequate. Plus, it's very talkative. I'm not sure if that's a plus. It's certainly an observation, though. Hello. I've uploaded Kale's latest firmware update to the suit. I think Kale has outdone herself this time. Self-updating firmware is an ingenious addition into the system. As we upgrade the suit, it will automatically adapt the new systems to the user's specifications during testing and unlock the features as they come online. This will save hundreds of hours of fiddling with settings. Note to self, make Kale a gig of my famous battle brew. That sounds like a good drink. Okay, I guess the last piece of the puzzle is a hat. Assuming there is a hat. There might not be a hat. Kudos for the beanboard edition for the VR sim. I like the Jack and the Beanstalk reference, buddy. I, I hope Dallas doesn't throw a fit. Uh, what's your back with that guy? He's always been more than a bit wound up about simple stuff. I had to move my battle proof setup over to X12 storage room after he drew a prohibitionist fit about the deletes. Yes, just run the dust if it'll keep you out of my way. I'm going back down to the gauges to see if a nudge from abroad will trigger their abilities. The other project leads will be stopping by in a few days and we must be able to show the process. Why the hell do you keep sending me these messages? You work right across the damn ramp from me. Walk your ass over here and say what you need to say. Stop wasting my time with these incessant messages. You've successfully created the capacitance once you're capable of... Yeah, okay. You know that one? Alright, what else do we have down here? Get off your butt, butts. This is the last time I'm going to warn you, but I can see that comic book poking up at your field manual. You don't fool me, asshat. Next time I got you slacking, I'm writing a disciplinary notice. And you can spend your free time polishing a meter erase. That's probably the same message as usual. 
Alright, well, uh, I think I'll thank you for watching and I'll see you next time where we will clear up this place. Bye! What happened to your neck, buddy? <laughs>